Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate how to use the Cut Block module. In the Cut Block panel, our LiDAR360 MLS software provides you with four subdivision methods. Point Cloud Subdivision Point Cloud Cut Block Create a Long Trajectory and Create a Long Center Line. Now let's go through them one by one. The first, Point Cloud Subdivision, is a scale-based method. Here, each segment is divided according to the national standard scale. For example, 1 to 1000. The length and width of the frame are 500 squares. Click OK to start segmenting. This is the effect after we complete segmentation. The second, Point Cloud Cut Block, is a method with custom length and width. Here, the divided frame is a rectangle. The advantage of this type of division is that it can be adjusted according to your actual needs. Click OK. This is the result after we finish cutting. The third is Create a Long Trajectory. This requires that the trajectory file must be added to the project. Here, we can add trajectory files by modifying the project. After adding, our trajectory file can be seen here. Then, click again to scale according to the trajectory. Here, we can also set our length and width that comes along with the actual shape of the road. Last is Create a Long Center Line. This method is applicable if there is no trajectory file to work with and the point cloud needs to be divided according to the actual shape of the road. This needs to be in the area intended to be segmented. Draw a line ahead of the time along the road center line and then use the click function to select this line. Then, click to divide according to the center line and set the custom length and width. Click OK to segment. After segmenting, the affected picture frame is generated along the vector line. These four subdivision methods can be used according to project needs. Then, based on the generated segments, we can continue to do some node editing and other operations. Performing Point Cloud Segmentation Now, I will show you how to modify based on an existing frame and segmented point cloud. Here, there are also operations such as selecting blocks and highlighting. Based on an existing frame, we can use node editing. Here, nodes can be removed and inserted. Merging blocks to selected adjacent frame boxes with common edges allows the user to combine their common edges to generate a merged frame. The split point cloud data is divided into multiple point cloud files and can be sent to multiple operators for data processing. As you can see, our raw data has been divided into multiple point cloud files and its corresponding folder is also divided into multiple blocks based on the segmented frames. We click to select the frame and the selected segment will be highlighted and centered.
the previous frame and next frame can automatically jump to the current corresponding previous or next block. Drag the slider to switch to different area blocks and highlight. Enter via text box where you can also switch the corresponding area block. Additionally, you can also show or hide area blocks and labels. This concludes the introduction to the cut block module of LiDAR 360 MLS. Thanks for watching!